I'd like to tell you uh, about a legal case that I worked on involving a man named Steve Titus. Titus was a restaurant manager. He was 31 years old. He lived in Seattle, Washington. He was engaged to Gretchen, about to be married. She was the love of his life. And one night, the couple went out for a romantic restaurant meal. They were on their way home, and they were pulled over by a police officer. You see, Titus's car sort of resembled a car that was driven earlier in the evening by a man who raped a female hitchhiker. And Titus kind of resembled uh, that rapist. So the police took a picture of Titus. They put it in a photo lineup. They later showed it to the victim. And she pointed to Titus's photo. She said, that one's the closest. The police and the prosecution proceeded with a trial. And when Steve Titus was put on trial for rape, the rape victim got on the stand and said, I'm absolutely positive that's the man. And Titus was convicted. He proclaimed his innocence. His family screamed at the jury. His fiancée collapsed on the floor sobbing, and Titus is taken away to jail. So what would you do at this point? What would you do? Well, Titus lost complete faith in the legal system, and yet he got an idea. He called up the local newspaper, he got the interest of an investigative journalist, and that journalist actually found the real rapist, a man who ultimately confessed to this rape, a man who was thought to have committed 50 rapes in that area, and when this information was given to the judge, the judge set Titus free. And really, that, that's where this case should have ended. It should have been over. Titus should have thought of this as a horrible year, a year of accusation and trial, but over. It didn't end that way. Titus was so bitter, he'd lost his job, he couldn't get it back. He lost his fiance, she couldn't put up with his persistent anger. He lost his entire savings, and so he decided to file a lawsuit against the police and others whom he felt were responsible for his suffering. And, and that's when I really started working on this case, trying to figure out how did that victim go from that one's the closest to I'm absolutely positive that's the guy. Well, Titus was consumed with his civil case as he spent every waking moment thinking about it. And just days before he was to have his day in court, he woke up in the morning doubled over in pain, and died of a stress-related heart attack. He was 35 years old. 